Pence does the right thing, we win the election. All he has to do, all in, this is, this is from the number one or certainly one of the top constitutional lawyers in our country. He has the absolute right to do it. We're supposed to protect our country, support our country, support our Constitution and protect our Constitution. States want to revote. The states got defrauded. They were given false information. They voted on it. Now they want to recertify. They want it back. All Vice President Pence has to do is send it back to the states to recertify. And we become president, and you are the happiest people. And I actually, I just spoke to Mike. I said, Mike, that doesn't take courage. What takes courage is to do nothing. That takes courage. And then we're stuck with a president who lost the election by a lot. And we have to live with that for four more years. We're just not going to let that happen. Many of you have traveled from all across the nation to be here. And I want to thank you for the extraordinary love. That's what it is. There's never been a movement like this, ever, ever. For the extraordinary love for this amazing country and this amazing movement. Thank you. By the way, this goes all the way back past the Washington Monument. Do you believe this? Look at this. That was... Unfortunately, they gave the press the prime seats. I can't stand that. No, but you look at that behind. I wish they'd flip those cameras and look behind you. That is the most amazing sight. When they make a mistake, you get to see it on television. Amazing. Amazing. All the way back. And don't worry, we will not take the name off the Washington Monument. We will not. Cancel culture. You know, they wanted to uh, get rid of the Jefferson Memorial. Either take it down or just put somebody else in there. I don't think that's going to happen. It damn well better not. Although with this administration, if this happens, it could happen. You'll see some really bad things happen. They'll knock out Lincoln, too, by the way. They've been taking his statue down. But then we signed a little law. You hurt our monuments, you hurt our heroes, you go to jail for 10 years, and everything stopped. You notice that? It stopped. It all stopped. And they could use Rudy back in New York City, Rudy. They could use you. Your city's going to hell. They want Rudy Giuliani back in New York. We'll get a little younger version of Rudy. Is that okay, Rudy? We're gathered together in the heart of our nation's capital for one very, very basic and simple reason, to save our democracy. You know, most candidates on election evening, and of course, this thing goes on so long, they still don't have any idea what the votes are. We still have congressional seats under review. They have no idea. They've totally lost control. They've used the pandemic as a way of defrauding the people in a proper election. But you know, you know, when you see this and when you see what's happening, number one, they all say, sir, we'll never let it happen again. I said, that's good, but what about eight weeks ago? You know, they try and get you to go. They say, sir, in four years, you're guaranteed. I said, I'm not interested right now. Do me a favor, go back. Eight weeks. I want to go back eight weeks. Let's go back eight weeks. We want to go back and we want to get this right because we're going to have somebody in there that should not be in there and our country will be destroyed and we're not going to stand for that. For years, Democrats have gotten away with election fraud and weak Republicans, and that's what they are. There's so many weak Republicans, and we have great ones. Jim Jordan and some of these guys, they're out there fighting. The House guys are fighting, but it's, uh, it's incredible. Many of the Republicans, I helped them get in. I helped them get elected. I helped Mitch get elected. I helped. I could name 24 of them, let's say. I won't bore you with it. And then all of a sudden, you have something like this, and it's like, oh, uh, gee, 
maybe I'll talk to the president sometime later. No, it's amazing. The weak Republicans, they're pathetic Republicans, and that's what happens. If this happened to the Democrats, there'd be hell all over the country going on. There'd be hell all over the country. But just remember this, you're stronger, you're smarter, you've got more going than anybody, and they try and demean everybody having to do with us, and you're the real people. You're the people that built this nation. You're not the people that tore down our nation. The weak Republicans, and that's it. I really believe it. I think I'm going to use the term, the weak Republicans. You got a lot of them, and you got a lot of great ones, but you got a lot of weak ones. They've turned a blind eye, even as Democrats enacted policies that chipped away our jobs, weakened our military, threw open our borders, and put America last. Did you see the other day where Joe Biden said, I want to get rid of the America first policy. What's that all about? Get rid of, how do you say I want to get rid of America first? <laughs> Even if you're going to do it, don't talk about it, right? <laughs> Unbelievable what we have to go through. What we have to go through, and you have to get your people to fight. And if they don't fight, we have to primary the hell out of the ones that don't fight. You primary them. We're going to, we're going to let you know who they are. I could already tell you, frankly. But this year, using the pretext of the China virus and the scam of mail-in ballots, Democrats attempted the most brazen and outrageous election theft. And there's never been anything like this. It's a pure theft in American history. Everybody knows it. That election, our election, was over at 10 o'clock in the evening. We're leading Pennsylvania, Michigan, Georgia, by hundreds of thousands of votes. And then late in the evening or early in the morning, boom, these explosions of bullshit. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it started to happen. Don't forget, when Romney got beat, Romney, hi. Did you see his, I wonder if he enjoyed his flight in last night. But when Romney got beaten, you know, he stands up like, you're more typical. Well, I'd like to congratulate the victor. The victor, who is the victor, Mitt? I'd like to congratulate. They don't go and look at the facts. Now, I don't know, he got, he got slaughtered probably. Maybe it was okay, maybe it was, that's what happened. But we look at the facts. And our election was so corrupt that in the history of this country, we've never seen anything like it. You can go all the way back. You know, America is blessed with elections all over the world. They talk about our elections. You know what the world says about us now? They say, we don't have free and fair elections. And you know what else? We don't have a free and fair press. Our media is not free. It's not fair. It suppresses thought. It suppresses speech. And it's become the enemy of the people. It's become the enemy of the people. It's, a, it's the biggest problem we have in this country. No third world countries would even attempt to do what we caught them doing. And you'll hear about that in just a few minutes. Republicans are, Republicans are constantly fighting like a boxer with his hands tied behind his back. It's like a boxer. And we want to be so nice. We want to be so respectful of everybody, including bad people. And we're going to have to fight much harder. And Mike Pence is going to have to come through for us. And if he doesn't, that will be a, a sad day for our country. Because you're sworn to uphold our Constitution. Now it is up to Congress to confront this egregious assault on our democracy. They've used the pandemic as a way of defrauding the people in a proper election. But you know, you know, when you see this and when you see what's happening, number one, they all say, sir, we'll never let it happen again. I said, that's good, but what about eight weeks ago? You know, they try and get you to go. They say, sir. In four years, you're guaranteed. I said, I'm not interested right now. Do me a favor, go back eight weeks. I want to go back eight weeks. Let's go back eight weeks. 
We want to go back and we want to get this right because we're going to have somebody in there that should not be in there and our country will be destroyed and we're not going to stand for that. For years, Democrats have gotten away with election fraud and weak Republicans, and that's what they are. There's so many weak Republicans, and we have great ones. Jim Jordan and some of these guys, they're out there fighting. The House guys are fighting, but it's, uh, it's incredible. Many of the Republicans, I helped them get in. I helped them get elected. I helped Mitch get elected. I helped. I could name 24 of them, let's say. I won't bore you with it. And then all of a sudden, you have something like this, and it's like, oh, uh, gee, maybe I'll talk to the president sometime later. No, it's amazing. The weak Republicans, they're pathetic Republicans, and that's what happens. If this happened to the Democrats, there'd be hell all over the country going on. There'd be hell all over the country. But just remember this, you're stronger, you're smarter, you've got more going than anybody, and they try and demean everybody having to do with us. And you're the real people. You're the people that built this nation. You're not the people that tore down our nation. The weak Republicans, and that's it. I really believe it. I think I'm going to use the term, the weak Republicans. You got a lot of them, and you got a lot of great ones, but you got a lot of weak ones. They've turned a blind eye, even as Democrats enacted policies that chipped away our jobs, weakened our military, threw open our borders, and put America last. Did you see the other day where Joe Biden said, I want to get rid of the America first policy. What's that all about? Get rid of, how do you say I want to get rid of America first? Even if you're going to do it, don't talk about it, right? <laughs> Unbelievable what we have to go through. What we have to go through, and you have to get your people to fight. And if they don't fight, we have to primary the hell out of the ones that don't fight. You primary them. We're going to we're going to let you know who they are. I could already tell you, frankly. But this year, using the pretext of the China virus and the scam of mail in ballots, Democrats attempted the most brazen and outrageous election theft. And there's never been anything like this. Newsmax TV is now America's fastest growing cable news channel. We give you the real news you need. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Newsmax TV streams live on YouTube for free. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.